Hey everyone, Cranberry Alarm RI3D here. Um, today we're going to be going over our end effector. This is our first uh, iteration of our final version. Um, and on here we have our coral sc score and also our um, algae dealgifier and also processor score. Um, all coming up now on Fun Robotics Network. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to go start with the algae system first. Um, we're currently driving this with two Neos. Um, one Neo for the wrist is powered off of a 125 max planetary that then goes from a 36 to 48 pulley. Um, for a total ratio of 166 to 1, which is pretty high, but we know we wanted pretty, this is, motion's going to be fairly short, as we're probably going to only be moving out about this far. Um, so we knew we wanted a pretty good control on it, so we went ahead and geared it up pretty high. Um, and then on the spinning for the intake, we were running a 4 to 1 right here on an 18-tooth pulley that then goes to a 42-tooth pulley for a total ratio of 11.2. Um, and we're running these uh, four-inch uh, thrifty bot um, urethane wheels. Um, we're running four of them in a certain configuration. We're not 100% um, sold on the configuration as we're going to kind of figure out and play around with what configuration of these wheels works really best for us. But we wanted to go ahead and give this a try. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll drive it with the wrist right here to go and pop it out, kind of show the um, demonstration of how it moves out. Um, and we are using the Thrifty uh, motor drivers on a Thrifty Nova. Um, so we only have speed control on these. Um, so we don't have kind of the fine control that we would really want. Um, but um, I think it's pretty representative of how the kind of mechanism work. And hopefully once we get it all set up and get some wires going to it, um, we'll be able to uh, get some more fine control on it. But with it right here in this position, let's go ahead and pop the algae in and simulate um, how it kind of would grab it. And you can kind of see here, we're dealing with a little bit of a belt issue with tensioning, but we just got to um, loosen our blocks to tension that right there to go and get through that. Um, you can kind of see it holding right there. And it'll likely, the algae will probably sit about um, a couple inches away from this edge as this edge is our frame perimeter edge. So the algae in the reef will sit right around here. So either we'll move the elevator up or we'll drive into it. But if we move the elevator up, should hopefully be able to grab it like that, some sort. That about does it for our algae. So moving over to our coral end of the end effector, um, we're driving this using uh, compression wheels on the side of the coral. Um, if we go ahead and grab a coral, we can kind of see how it looks like inside here. Um, for this, we're using a total of a, a half inch compression. So we're compressing to about a half inch in between the wheels. On the rear side, we're using two inch thrifty bot squishy wheels. On the front side, we're using Andy Mark three inch compliant 35A green wheels. To power these, we're using um, two Neos ran into four to one Andy Mark sport gearboxes that's driven by these pulleys here that then belt to each of these pulleys here. Um, in total, uh, this is as a four to one gearbox driving both of these. So we knew we wanted it to be a little bit torquey to be able to pop it out as we knew this didn't need a whole lot of speed. Um, and our incline here is set to about 12 and a half degrees. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and do a quick test. We're going to start off by powering both of these motors at the same time, and then we'll do a quick test where we only power one. And then as you can see, this is still running at a fairly slow speed, and we have a, this is at like 20% power, uh, something around that. And you can see as Corey fed it in there at an angle, it kind of did a good job of adjusting it as it came in. Still a work in progress. <laughs> and then even if we come from this way, it does a good job. If we come from this way, it does a good job of taking it in. So let's go ahead and turn off one side and we'll turn on one side and kind of show the spin effect that we have on the game piece. It's gonna go out this way. So that's one thing if, when you don't, uh, don't go. when you don't power both sides, you get that um, angling effect. So I think it's gonna be a matter of maintaining 
the getting the wheel to this point and then from there driving one speed. But I'll go ahead and support it on one side to demonstrate it getting through. And so um, kind of what happened off camera there is actually as it started to fall, it was uh, kind of twisting as it started to fall, fall more. Um, and that's gonna be necessary for our L1 scoring. And I guess we'll demonstrate the other side going. Oh, sorry, I'm not good at my job. There you go. Be sure to check out more Cranberry Alarm RI3D videos on Fun Robotics Network. Oh no. Wait, is this also the live one right now? Oh god. <laughs> Nothing like a beard shot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.